Hey, come on in. Have a seat. Today is Flashback Friday, and it's hosted by Doris of Doris Dollies. Thank you for stopping by Irene's Huff's Doll Space. I am Irene, and since it's Flashback Friday, I would like to take this opportunity to kind of let you get to know me a little bit better and to tell you where I kind of really got started in um, collecting dolls. Well, guys, my journey, I've always liked it, you know, dolls. And my journey kind of began, you know, it's been many years ago, but I kind of got my foot in the door with, with uh, porcelain dolls. And I started at this little doll shop run by a uh, run by a couple, Dixie and Jim Gilmore. And this was a little shop in the town where I live, and it was called Sunshine Dolls. And every every Saturday morning, we would. A bunch of us ladies would get together at uh, Sunshine Dolls, and Dixie would pour, pour molds, you know, pour molds, and, and we would get together, and we would paint our dolls, and, you know, she would fire and show us how to do things, and it was just the best time. I had some of the most wonderful memories of all of us getting together on a Saturday morning and doing our doing our porcelain dolls and you know just having a good time and this was a really and you know this was really uh involved family because Dixie's mom and dad they would a lot of times do draw patterns and everything for her and it was just really fun and so here with me today now this is uh Elise and Elise is one of the dolls that I made. Now, Dixie poured the mold, and I can't even remember who the artist of this doll is. But she is a reproduction doll, and she was painted by me. I did her, um, I did her, this was during my, my red hair phase. I love dolls with red hair. And Elise is a tomboy, as you can see. She's got her little frog here. And she did have a bow in her hair, but I don't know where that went. Because she, you know, she's one of them kind of girls you can dress up and you can put in the frills and lace. But, you know, somehow that's going to disappear. But anyway, I painted her. She, As you can see, she has freckles. And she has... Uh, she has a, a porcelain breastplate, which ends down here. And she has, you know, movement at the neck and, and head. And as you can see, she has freckles, you know, and I put that in the cheeks and blushing. And guys, at this time, I was not concentrating on the hands as much, you know, and there's a little feet. She has no shoes because she's a tomboy, guys. And I made her dress. She has on a, a burgundy. You know, pinafoles with a satin blue dress. She needs a little ironing, but she's been setting, you know, for a while. And here's the back. And she has that beautiful long red hair. I hope you can see that. Yeah, she needs a little combing, you know. And there she is. Yeah, she's, you know, I did quite a few dolls, but I just really, I really did enjoy my time with Dixie and Jim. But we had a lot of fun at the doll shop. And this is, this is, this is my Elise. And I did many other dolls, but I just thought I would, share this with you guys and thank you for joining me today 
with this with this little short video. Thank you so much. And guys, I will see you next time, hopefully in a few days for our boy collaboration. So guys, go on over to Dory. I don't know if Dory's having a flashback Friday today. But go on over to her channel, check it out, and check out anybody else that's having a flashback Friday today. Thank you for joining me. And know that I appreciate anyone and everyone that takes the time out of their day or evening to stop by and share this crazy doll adventure with me. And guys, I will see you next time. And remember, only you can do do you thank you have a wonderful day be good to yourself and to each other and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and share buttons i'll see you next time bye bye